Hi, in this video, I want to show you this card game. It's called the Huga game, and it's cozy conversation and pleasant company. So I've played this with one other person, and I've played this in a group of four. So let me show you how we played. Let's see, open it up. It comes in this nice box, and it has directions, which I've actually uh, never read. But basically, what you do is you take a card, and then you pick a question. For example, in what ways do you make other people's lives better? Which of your family members do you look like the most? Describe a time when you helped a stranger. And you ask the person next to you. So you go in like in a circle and you get to pick the question and the person answers. Then when you're done, you set the card down. The next person grabs a card and then asks the person next to them. And we went in a circle when we had four people. And if you have two people, you just go back and forth. Would you enjoy working from home? Is there any talent that seems to be passed down in your family? Oh, I remember this card. If you could have one million of anything except money, what would you choose? Yep. Yeah, I chose gold coins. <laughs> so let's, let's mix it up a little bit because I've seen a lot of these. So let's make it more fun here. Let's see. Here we go. What is your favorite guilty pleasure? If you could spend a whole day with any person, who would it be? What is the one consistent factor linking your friends despite how, many dif how different they may be in other ways? So you see, it's a really fun game that sparks conversation. Um, so if you're trying to create conversation with other people, this is a really fun game. And even if you know the person really well, this is really fun because these are questions that you wouldn't normally think of asking. For example, is there any value in buying paper dictionaries anymore? That's, that's a question that I would never ask anybody uh, unless I had this card in my hand right now. So this kind of opens your mind up to new things. This is a really fun game and I feel like you can play with tons of people. What's your favorite Valentine's Day, Easter, or Halloween candy? I remember this card. This is a question that someone asked to someone else when we were playing. Is 20 too young to get married? Let's swoop down here. Maybe I can see some I haven't seen. Let's look at this one. What item on your long-term to-do list do you never seem to get to? So you basically just pick one question. That's how we played. So yeah, pretty fun. Um, I recommend it. I think it's one of the more fun games. You know, I've played a lot of board games, and um, this is fun because you actually get to talk to people. Here it talks about the rules. It's a concept all about enjoying a nice and cozy time in good company, right? The focus means there are no winners and no losers, right? You can't really win. The goal is to simply make it as hooga as possible, and everybody wins. Yeah, use them as you see fit, right? That's what we did. Ask in any order. The classic way is to have one person read all the questions on a card to the person to their left who answers them one at a time. That's how we played it. Then that person draws the next card and reads the questions to the person on their left. Yeah, that's exactly how we played it. Another option is to have one person read all the questions on a card aloud, one question at a time, with everyone in the room taking turns answering each question. That sounds like fun. The next person reads the questions in the next card and so on. This way of playing leads to vivid discussions, creating a nice flow between them. It also allows everyone to participate in each question, which can be good if you don't know each other well. Yeah, we haven't played it that, well, uh, that, that way. We played it uh, the first way here. For me, uh, part of the excitement of the game is asking the question and answering the question. So I kind of I prefer the first method. Or play in a more unstructured way with players asking questions at random, depending on the question that strikes them as the most interesting. With over 300 questions, there's no need to ask every single one. Yeah. If any questions don't work well for the group, just skip them and move on to the next one. Yeah, very nice. And you know, if you're playing with people you know, you know, you might get a question and you might say, oh, well, I already know that. Like for example here, what item on your long-term to-do list do you never seem to get to? So if you're playing with someone you know, that's something you might already know. So it might not be an interesting question. Instead, you might go to the second question. Are you glad to be living in the modern day and age, or do you wish to live during a past era? So kind of interesting. The last one's interesting too. Let's read this. If there were suddenly 28 hours in a day, how would you spend the extra hours? Really fun. So really fun game. Um, I'm going to keep playing it. I have it here uh, at the kitchen table. And this is where we played it, so I decided to make the video where we play it. So, great kitchen table game, great coffee table game, uh, great outdoor patio game. Just anywhere you can sit down and set this down and have conversation with some friends. I recommend it. Good luck.